What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing wonderful today. And today I want to speak about a new feature on TikTok. And this feature has been there, you know, for quite a while now. And I think it was necessary for me to make a video about it. You know, I spoke with a student um, probably a few hours ago. And uh, that student told me, look, I've tried this feature. I think it's great. And to be honest, he's right. You need to understand. We give you a strategy. We give you a path. But dropshipping is evolving. All those platforms integrate new features here and there. You just need to find and tell yourself if it's necessary. Okay, like, okay, is this thing necessary for me? Yes, no. Okay, no, I move on. Yes, then I incorporate it. And the new feature that I want to speak about is calm down uh, sticker. Think about this. When you think about that, it's like, okay, um, I'm doing dropshipping. My goal is tackling people based on emotions. They never seen my website before. They probably never seen my product before. So what can I do to make them purchase even faster? And countdown timer is a powerful thing. So if TikTok is in integrating countdown timer, then this is beneficial for you. But think about this. There's other feature, uh, features, display card, gift, gift code card. Okay, will it give a gift code card? No. People will probably not remember it or it will probably make it more complicated to check out. That's not what you want. You want the checkout to be smooth as fast as possible. Obviously, if you have a brand, if you're already established, making millions of dollars, then the strategy will be a little bit different. But your goal is to find a winning product, a product that makes sales and that makes everything smoothly. So. This feature right here, the content timer, is an incredible feature that you guys can use. As you can see, we come on here and you can choose, you know, different options right here that will change. As you can see, the time, 38 hours, 34 hours, 22 hours, you know, the shorter, the better for me, the more urgency. After the words, you come here, you can decide whenever you want to put it. You can decide the hours. You can decide everything. As you can see, 71 hours and basically changes everything right here. You can decide the color. Normally, the color, I try to make it impactful to make people look at it. Impactful, sticker, a display angle. You can choose basically a different angle. I like to keep it the way it is, to be honest. Um, you know, you don't want to make it too strange. Um, 20 degree angle is not that bad too, if you want to put a little bit of, a, you know, funky into it, but I leave it like that. Sticker placement, as you can see, you can choose on here, the placement Let's say uh, 105 by one uh, by 250. As you can see, it is moving on here. Or, you know, you can move it here. You can move it here. You can do it manually. I like to use those things. You can use the size. Normally, the size, I don't like it to be too big. So I put it this way. And the opacity. Okay, like how visual you want it to be. Normally, I will put like full opacity. This size, I will put it small like this. I'll put this one maybe this way, you know, like this. Boom. So now you have the sticker ready. And, you know, you can put, put the title here of the sticker. So title could be... um something 50% off limited time, 50% off limited time, three hours to go, three days. It says three days. You can put, you know, way lower than that. Three days, 22 hours and 59 minutes. Learn more. Obviously you can change it um, on the call to action. This is just they just put like different call to action here, but you can obviously change it on the call to action. And now you have this option right here. So as you can see, sticker title can put a little title. You choose the time um, and how, let's say, hurry you want it to be. You choose the color. You choose the display here. So, you know, 
the angle of it here, the placements uh, that you want that you want it to be, the size of it, and the opacity, how like like visual you want it to be. So yeah, guys, this is what you want to do. Um, I don't do it on every product. I do it on certain. Uh, you can play with this feature. I think it's a really good. If you think that your product has real potential and you want to have that little touch extra, I think it's a good feature. Um, the thing with features on TikTok, features on Facebook, and on all those platforms is their testing features. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't work and they remove it. So I like to wait a few months before implementing those features on my sales strategy because I want to make sure that Facebook knows, is it really going to help me? No, it's not going to help me. Then, okay, I'm going to move on and not use this feature. But if it's there for a few months, then it's probably helping other people. So Facebook or TikTok are going to, you know, keep it, uh, those features. And I'm speaking about those the, both of those platforms because they're similar in terms of what they implement, what they change, and they're the two biggest rival. Obviously, uh, don't use TikTok strategy on Facebook and don't use Facebook on TikTok, but it's uh, great to know like how both works. It's great to know how they implement new things, how they do trials on certain things because guys, you know, me and my brother, we have been dropshipping for seven years now and we've seen so many features come and go, come and go, come and go. So we try to not put our heads on those things unless they're there to stay. If you see there, they have been there for a few months, people have been using it, then I will use it too. If no, I stick to my strategy, but it's a great, great thing to put a little bit of scarcity, to put a little bit of, that maybe that's the extra edge that you need in order to convert a little bit more. So yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, use this one. Don't use, you know, uh, I'm speaking to dropshippers. If you have a brand, then that's not for you. But uh, don't use gift card. Don't use display card. Just use the countdown timer. As you can see, um, you know, people are going to ask me, which one do you select? To be honest, I don't select any. What I do is I let the algorithm choose the best one for me. Uh, the eight is on default. As you can see, they have multiple. And they're going to try different ones uh, during your campaign to see which one is the most optimal. I let them decide. You know, the biggest error that people will do when it comes down to the algorithm uh, with TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever, whatever platform, is they think they know better than that algorithm. Algorithm knows best and you need to follow what they're saying in order um, to, you know, have the most optimal campaign. But again, if you have the most optimal campaign, you follow everything and you don't have sales, then it's either your marketing or your product. Simple, but 90% of it, it's your product. And that's why you need to have a structure that you believe in. You need to have a mentor that you believe in so you can follow the strategy, remove the headaches and keep testing, testing until you find uh, a product. And, you know, if you have a good mentor, the mentor will revise those products with you, will tell you which one he would test, which one he would not test. So it will cut down by easily 70% the amount of product that you need to test. So, yeah, guys, wish you an amazing rest of your day. This is the video of today. Do not forget to ask me questions about certain features that you want to see. I know, guys, a lot of you ask me about general questions that I have been answering over and over again. Guys, try to go a little bit deeper ask me more important question ask me more intense question i'm here to help uh you know nobody spoke to me about those features those things so i'm like oh i'm not going to make a video about it but when i have a student that speak to me about those things i know there's probably other people interested in this thing so you know message me send me message like ask me question and i will make more videos about those things that you guys need so yeah guys wish y'all an amazing rest of your day. Take care. Peace out and see you on the next video. Peace out.